Welcome back, music students. Today in Lesson 19, we're looking at tempo marks. Last time we saw dynamics, which is the volume or how loud or soft the music is played. Today, with tempo, we're learning about the rate of speed. That means how fast or slow the music should be played. Again, usually this is going to be written in Italian, just like we saw with the dynamics. However, more and more today, you're starting to see the terms be written in English. So typically, in traditional music, you're going to see those Italian terms written towards the start of a piece of music, or sometimes if it changes later, there might be a, a new mark at some point in the song. But usually you'll see the Italian. There are many, many more terms than what you see written here. Uh, these are just a few uh, examples of the more common ones. So they go from the slowest up here at the top, to the fastest at the bottom of this list. So Largo, I think something's you know, really large, it probably moves kind of slow. So Largo is very slow. Adagio is just slow. Andante, I like this one because of uh, the Spanish word andar, walking speed is going to be a good way to remember this one. Moderato is moderately, I think that's an easy one too. Allegro, I like to think of allegre, which it, allegro means che quickly or cheerfully. And the vivace is lively or fast, so I like to remember vivir and, um, or uh, something along those lines, if that helps you at all. Okay, so again, those are arranged already from slowest to fastest. And it's just a matter of looking at them, reviewing them, and remembering them. Moderato, though, can be combined with other words. For example... Allegro moderato would be uh, moderately fast. So it's a little slower than allegro, but it's quicker than moderato. It would end up right there between the two. All right. Now, just like we had gradual changes in dynamics, uh, like the crescendo and decrescendo or diminuendo, we've got gradual changes with tempos. Usually, ritardando will be written out R-I-T period, and that means you gradually get slower. So if my speed is going about this fast, I'm going to gradually slow down like I'm running out of battery. Not an instant change, it happens gradually. The other one, accelerando, again you could think of the Spanish or the English, accelerate which is uh, if you accelerate in a car, it speeds up, right? So this is gradually getting faster. It's kind of like the fast clap that you hear, you know, at sporting events, gradually speeds up. So for the ex exercises, these should be fairly simple today. All of the answers are up above. In writing music, tempo, mar tempo marks tell the blank, blank, blank. Hmm, looking at the definitions, it says tempo is an Italian word meaning Rate of speed. There is your answer for number one. Do not get that wrong. Number two, very slow tempo mark. Let's go with this. Very slow. Look, there's very slow. Number three, lively and fast. Oh, there's lively and fast. And then in number four, you're just matching. Each of the terms on the right will match up with their definition on the left. It's just a matter of looking up at the top and uh, coming back down here to answer them. Some of them should be easy, right? Look at letter A, moderato, moderately. It's basically the same word. Um, so this shouldn't take you super long as long as you actually read through the top section. This is a very, very simple lesson, but quite a few terms that you need to remember. So as far as the assignment goes, simple, but lots to remember. If you have any questions, Please reach out and let me know so I can help you out.